My name is Monica Enand. I'm the founder and CEO of Zapproved, and Zapproved works with corporate legal departments to automate their electronic discovery. What's unique about Zapproved is that we invest completely in the cloud. So we work with Amazon Web Services on their cutting edge serverless technology and make sure that it is completely elastic and scalable for our customers so that they can use as much as they want as, as, and get things done as fast as they need to with minimal cost. There have been many surprises in my entrepreneurial experience. I think I was I think all entrepreneurs, almost all probably, are a little naive or at least optimistic about how easy it's going to be. And whenever you get there, you realize it's never as easy as it seems or looks from the outside. I'm uh, Trevor Mock. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Carrotly. And uh, our company helps real estate investors, but we, were like, we like to broaden out and say we help entrepreneurs um, do more of what makes the heart sing and have less hassling with tech and marketing. It's just to hold them back. So we have a software that helps people do online marketing better. Did, did, did entrepreneurship find me or did I choose it? Um, I, I think a little bit of both because I grew up around a family where I saw my dad have to really hustle when he lost his job when I was younger. He had to really hustle and he, he couldn't find another job so he went out there and created his own. I think that right there started to instill that in me pretty early. Um, and, it, and it showed me that, I, that there was that other option. Um, but then I think, I think as time went on, I just realized that there was no other option for me. I didn't want to go out and get a job. Um, no matter how hard it was going to be, how many times I had to fail, I wanted to go out there and make it my own failure. I wanted to go out there and make it my own success and make it the difference I could make. I love what entrepreneurs do and what we can contribute when we are unshackled from the things that hold us back. I'm Oliver Alexander, co-founder and co-director of Orchid Health, and at Orchid Health we focus on delivering really high quality primary and mental health services to rural areas across Oregon at our two clinics. We received an email from the public university system asking students to compete in the first ever Oregon Social Business Challenge, and the prompt was to solve a social problem but do it in a financially sustainable way or create a social business. So. My business partner and I responded to the email and formed a team and ended up working together on rural healthcare because of Orion's background and being from a small rural town himself. Orion Felvey, co-director, co-founder, Orchid Health. I just could never imagine myself, you know, being a small part of a bigger system. You know, I, I really enjoy working in small teams. Uh, I really enjoy being hands-on in the field. Um, working with my patients, with our customers, and I, I just, I love building a team. The biggest piece of advice I'd give to a brand new entrepreneur or someone who is wanting to start something new is, I, I would literally do this, come up, come up with your non-negotiables. Instead of trying to do lots of things well, our company had to pick one thing and be the very best at it. Uh, pick one customer and then make that customer ridiculously happy. It, it really takes such an effort and a focused, um, it really has to be core to your mission to build a culture that you want to sustain for your organization. It's not gonna come naturally.